I see, I don't want to put it in the gross tier because it's edible. It's edible, right? Oh, hey, I'm Nicola Foti. You're watching Something Week. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here, thanks for coming back. So today we're ranking fast food. What does that have to do with language, geography? It's culture. Fast food is culture. So listen, I'm no stranger to fast food. I love a food that is fast. I already recognize some places that I don't recognize. I mean, I said that wrong. Let me try that again. I already see some places I don't recognize. But like, you know, we'll just, we'll put, there's a tier for that. It's called never had. And then everything else is from the best to F. So let's go. Okay. See, A and W, I'm pretty sure I've only ever had in the Philippines. And I feel like it was fine, but I don't really, I feel like the only thing that I might want to get there is like the root beer. Does that make sense? I don't remember their food at all. I'm going to have to put it in D. I like how the, I like how it says all American food. I've literally only had in the Philippines. Anyway, Arby's. I'm really, I'm never thinking Arby's. However, there used to be one like right outside of the Walmart that I used to go to in New Jersey. Sometimes if we were hanging out at Walmart, we would then, you know, go through the Arby's drive through because it was right there. I don't remember what I would get. I feel like it's just mostly like roast beef, right? They do have curly fries though. I feel like we're going in the same tier. It's a D for me. I'm sorry. I mean, D like... It's passing, you know, like it's not, it's not gross. I feel like F would be the gross tier, but like it's not tickling any of my fancies. Baja, oh my gosh, I remember Baja Fresh. Oh, wow, I haven't had that for so long. Um, I feel like they were, they were fine. I don't know. Blimpy, I don't, I mean, I feel like I've heard of it, but I've never had it. Bojangles I had once in North Carolina. And um, maybe it was cause it was in the airport, but it wasn't that good. Like I know like people love Bojangles, but I don't know what she's going in the D tier. The D is looking pretty big folks. The D is growing. Boston market. Oh, uh, I see. I don't want to put it in the gross tier because it's edible. It's edible, right? <sighs> D. This D just keeps getting bigger. Burger King. Okay. Now Burger King has some things. You know what I mean. The Sorry, my eyes are so itchy. Burger King has one of my all-time favorite fast food items, which is the onion ring. Um, and so for that alone, it's got to be at least a C. But I think, I mean, I, I, I think I like their their chicken, the long boy, the chicken sandwich, that whatever it's called. That one's good. I like the Junior Whopper. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put her in B. She's going in B. Raising Cane's is good, but does not deserve anywhere near the hype that it gets. It feels like under seasoned. There's better chicken out there, you know? Um, I'm gonna put her in C. Carl's Jr. I feel like I've only had Carl's Jr. maybe like five times. And to me, it kind of tastes a little bit like Burger King. Do they do like, is it the flame broiled thing that they do? She'll go in the C tier. Just cause I just, oh my gosh, checkers. Oh, I forgot about her. I mean, I literally forgot if I even liked it. Um, I think I did. Actually, I think I did. I think I liked it enough to put her in the C tier. Okay, Chick-fil-A. Listen, we got some problems here. But speaking on the flavor alone, I do like their Polynesian sauce, but again, it's not as good as people hype it up to be. And I'm gonna put her in D. Sorry about it. Chipotle. Chipotle is the girl that, if I'm tiring myself out trying to think of what I wanna eat, and then I just like, I can't think of anything. Chipotle is like the default because it's like, I think I just had it too much. I mean, it is good. I think she's just a little overexposed. So let me see. I'll, I will put Chipotle. Ooh, B or C? Mm, I can put Chipotle in B. I'll put Chipotle in B. Church's chicken. Oh my God, yes. If we're talking fried chicken, Church's has the best. The best biscuits. I'm so upset. I think two out of the three churches by me have closed down. It's really upsetting. I want you back. Cookout, never heard of it. Uh, Culver's, I 
feel like I've heard of it maybe, but don't really know her. Del Taco, I really don't know what the girls get there. I really don't. I've tried it multiple times and it does absolutely nothing for me. Denny's, I mean, Denny's, I like Denny's. I love a Denny's breakfast. You know, like, I don't know if I've ever had their non-breakfast, but based on breakfast alone, I also did get food poisoning three times at three different Denny's in three different states. And I still go back, so I guess she's at least a C. Domino's Pizza. I I really enjoy Domino's. I feel like my go-to pizza, if I were ordering for myself, would be uh, barbecue sauce, pineapple, and jalapenos. But when I'm eating with other human beings, I, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll, uh, I'll get whatever anyone else wants to get because I know my is an odd choice. I'm gonna put it in B, put Domino's in B. My least favorite pizza topping, which I will, I will still eat. And sometimes I enjoy, I'm like, oh, that was better than, than I expected it to be. Um, I feel like all of you are gonna yell at me in the comments and you are welcome to, but it's pepperoni. It's everyone's favorite pizza topping. And I just, it has like the same, I, I'm not really a fan of like pepperoni or hot dogs or uh, sausage most of the time. It just has that like taste, you know, like a, like a two hour later indigestion burp taste that I just, I, I can't really get behind. Dairy Queen. So all the Dairy Queens I knew growing up in New Jersey, did not have food. And so this is an ice cream only chain. And so I don't think I've ever had their food, which I feel like is what we're comparing here. So I'm gonna have to put her in never had. El Pollo Loco. I do like El Pollo Loco. She's gonna have to at least match Chipotle, at least. Oh, a firehouse sub. I enjoy a firehouse sub. We're putting her in B. Uh, my, I mean, I don't know if I have a go-to from there specifically, but I love a chicken parm sub. My, my, my mouth just watered. Oh my God, the most overrated burger chain in the world. Why does everyone love this so much? I mean, I'm not trying to yuck anyone's yum. Like let people like things, I, I understand. I'm gonna let you like your five guys, but I don't get it. I don't understand it. I can't, and then the burger is just not my kind of burger. You know, like my preferred burger is a smash burger with the little crispy edges. I don't like too much meat. It's edible. Actually, I did try a, uh, what was it called? It was like, it was a burger in their grilled cheese. And that was pretty good, actually. It's above an F for that. I hop, we gotta, we gotta put her next to Denny's. Same, same vibe. In and out, in and out, I feel like people, especially in Southern California and probably in other states that have it, like Texas. Uh, Arizona, I think, um, Nevada. There's like a pride that comes with in and out that I don't have. It's better than Five Guys, but it's not not my favorite. Oh my God, do they have my favorite burger? We'll get to it. I don't, I don't want to look ahead and cheat. Okay, Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is another one that I don't really know what to order there. Oh, the Sourdough Jack, okay. The first time I had the Sourdough Jack, I was like, this is art. I was pleasantly surprised. And then the next like two times that I got it, I was like, this is not as good as the first time I tried it. They have yet to impress me. I guess I like the, the tacos for like, you know, it's like a trashy late night or hungover vibe. I will give Jack in the Box, I mean, it's, it's better than Del Taco. Yeah, I'll have to put her in C. Jersey Mike's, if we're talking subs, I kind of, I'm gonna have to put Jersey Mike's in the best. Which now, in relation to like all other fast food, I wouldn't, but like if we're talking subs only, like fast food subs, it's gotta be in the best here. It's gotta. Sometimes I just crave it, you know? Also, it's got Jersey in the title. Maybe that's just it's speaking to me. Jimmy John's, I feel like um, I've had probably once, I didn't. I, I don't remember if it was anything to remember, and I just don't remember my opinion. So we're gonna have to put it in never had. Oh my gosh, Jolly Bee, Jolly Bee. Oh my god, the peach mango pie. There are so many things at Jolly Bee that I love, but I don't know. <laughs> Their chicken sandwich is bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. 
I don't know why they even tried. Like their fried chicken is good, but what were they thinking when they made the chicken sandwich? Like Burger King's chicken sandwich. You know when like the hot chicken sandwich was all the rage and like everyone started coming out with a chicken sandwich? I can't put it in best. I gotta put it in B. I mean, it's still great. Don't get me wrong. I love Jolly Bee. I just can't put her in best. KFC. KFC is fine. KFC is a C. Little Caesars, it's edible, not for me. Long John Silver's, I think I remember one being in the Bridgewater Commons Mall in New Jersey, like years and years ago, but I don't, did they have hush puppies? If they had hush puppies, then I loved those. But I also didn't really eat much fish back then, so I don't think I've ever really. Oh, McDonald's is the best. What, this, this is top tier. McDonald's is always top tier. Classic. Sorry, we're back. My camera, my battery, and anyway, we're here. Okay, next is Moe's. I, I do remember Moe's, but I don't, I haven't had it in probably 10 years. And I can't rank her because I don't remember any of it. Noodles and company. No, girl. Oh my God. If there was another tier above the best. <sighs> Panda Express. Oh my gosh. At the end, I think I'm gonna order everything in each tier, but I already know we can't mess with a panda. Panera, I used to eat here like for lunch when I used to work at um, Expo Design Center, which is like, a, what was a fancy Home Depot. And uh, there was a Panera right like near there and I used to eat there all the time and I think I liked it. I would get the baguette and then I would ask for a side of balsamic vinaigrette and then I would dip the, the baguette in the balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, it was delicious. But like if I had it now, I don't know. I, it's either D or C. I guess I'll put her in C, that's fine. Papa John's is not great. Don't understand her. Don't know what that is. What's PDQ? Don't know what that is. Pizza Hut. B, B tier, absolutely. Same same as, as Domino's. I feel like they're different enough in pizza style that I can rank them in the same in the same tier. Popeyes. I don't know if I wanna put it, I gotta put, I think I gotta put it in B. Cause Church's is just a step above. I, I love Popeyes, I do. But also like my sadness in my Church's closing, I, ju I just can't in good conscience. Um, okay, Portillo's? I don't know that either. Potbelly's. Potbelly's is good. Mm, I can put her in B. Oh my god, Cadoba. Okay, Cadoba had the best queso. However, everything else just was not... It wasn't... Mm -mm. I'll give her a C. Quiznos? Oh, whoa, I forgot about her. Quiznos. Did I like Quiznos? I feel like probably she was fine. Right? Roy Rogers. Whoa. That's a blast from the past. I don't remember what it tastes like though. Sparrow. I just realized I didn't put anything in, in the F tier. Am I just being really nice? Am I just, am I just a nice guy? <laughs> oh yes. My favorite fast food burger. 100%. Shake Shack. Yes. Shake Shack is so much better. Is it, is it a little more expensive? Yeah, if we're if this was a price tier list, in and out would be above Shake Shack. But this is a taste tier list. This is flavor, okay? Experience. Shake Shack's my girl. Sheets, I feel like I've had this in Pennsylvania probably once, don't remember it. Skyline, is that the one in um, Ohio? That's the, that's the Ohio chili place, right? I, ha I haven't had that. Sonic is fine. Um, their drinks are really good. You can, you know, get creative in that realm, but the rest of it, I don't, I don't know. Oh, I oh, I forgot about Steak and Shake. I really like Steak and Shake. Uh, Subway, we're not eating fresh, girls. D or F, it's edible. I'll give her a D. Nope, don't know Swenson's. Oh, Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell is like, I'm pretty sure I can always, like if someone's like, hey, do you want Taco Bell? I will most likely say yes. I could have just eaten an entire meal. And if someone says, do you want Taco Bell? I would say yes. 
I don't know the kind of hold she has on me, but it's there. I don't know what Taco Cabana is. I don't know where Torch's Tacos is. I've never had Waffle House. I've heard it was gross. Ooh, Wawa. Wawa is top tier. <laughs> I can't believe Wawa's even on this list. Oh, I love Wendy's. I know a lot of people don't like Wendy's. And I just, I gotta just say, it's probably the person who operates your franchise. It's gotta be. Because the spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's, top tier. I love their fries, love their nuggies. The spicy nuggies from Wendy's, yes. Frosties. Wendy's is top tier. Sorry about it. Never had Whataburger or w Whataburger. Never had it. White Castle. Oh my God, White Castle. I love White Castle and it's so trashy and I, and I don't care. White Castle is top tier. Onion rings, the clam strips. Why would you ever order clam strips from a fast food restaurant? But I do and they're great. And by great, I mean mostly batter. Whatever. Wiener schnitzel, I feel like I've had a couple times. Not really a hot dog girl, but they do have good ice cream. I guess I'll put her in D. Wings over? Don't know her. Wingstop. I think I've probably had Wingstop, but I don't really remember. And then I've never had Zaxby's. So this is it. Why, why was I so nice that I didn't give anyone an F? Okay, so let let us let me just go through this. We'll go bottom to top. Um, we don't got to rearrange the never had list, but okay. Oh, this is hard. I mean, the best in the D tier is probably Chick-fil-A. Let's see, Del Taco. A and W is definitely better than the Five Guys. Arby's, oh, Boston Market, she can go. Papa John's is marginally better than Little Caesars. Sparrow, okay, Papa John's has the garlic sauce. That's it. That's the only edge it has. Wiener schnitzel. Mm. I mean, Subway's almost failing. They do have new sandwiches that I'm intrigued. I would like to try the new Subway sandwiches. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. It might bump her up. Who knows? But for now, she's bottom D. Okay, C tier. Best in the C tier, probably. I mean, I still like In-N-Out enough. I still like KFC enough. Jack in the Box, I, you know, I like the things that I like from there. Carl's Jr. Let's see, oh, but Denny's and IHOP. I think I can put Denny's and IHOP above KFC. Checkers can go at the end because I, I barely remember. Baja Fresh was fine. Godoba, Raisin Cane's, oh gosh. Sonic for their drinks, we're, we're going up here. And then I think, no, I, I gotta, I'm sorry, Raising Canes, you really disappointed me. B tier, now we're getting a little hard. Jollibee is gonna be at the top. No, Popeyes is gonna be at the top. Popeyes, then Jollibee. I think I, I'll put Steak and Shake ahead of Pop Bellies. I'll put Pizza Hut here. Ooh, Pizza Hut or Domino's? I feel like they're pretty much tied. I don't know. That, that's fine, that looks fine. Panda Express, number one. Panda Express is just that girl. I mean, I love Shake Shack, but Panda Express edges her out. Taco Bell, oh gosh, wow, this is really hard. This is sad. I um, I don't know what to do here, because there, there are things, there are things, they're thinging. Okay, I think, I think I'm satisfied. Am I putting Wendy's above McDonald's? No. Am I putting White Castle above McDonald's? No. I think that's it. I think this is um, my final answer. Top three, Panda Express, Taco Bell, Shake Shack. That's what we got, that's what we're going with. This took me 36 minutes to do. I thought this was gonna be a, a quick video. Um, it wasn't. I uh, apparently am very passionate about my, my fast food choices. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you especially to everyone on Patreon for making um, groundbreaking videos like this possible. If you'd like to join them, it's patreon.com slash soundlyawake. Got some bloopers coming. 
at the end of this month. Got a secret vlog coming in a few days. Just uploaded an extra vlog, I mean, which I guess technically is a secret vlog, but it's not like a secret vlog is like a different genre of vlog because I, I kind of just like talk for a half an hour about what has gone on in the month, sort of like a verbal journal. And then, um, yeah, the extra vlog that I just uplo uploaded to Patreon was just kind of like clips that um, didn't make it into a public vlog. But yeah, I'll see you over there on Patreon if you'd like to join. And that's all I have for you today. And I will see you very soon with another video. I'm hungry now. This is a mistake.